What's up? This is Open Mailbox. Today I'm going to show you how to install a 5M server on your local hard drive so that you can get started doing mod development. If you've been role-playing on a 5M server and you're trying to figure out how to get started helping with development, this is the place to start. There's a couple other modding frameworks out there besides 5M, but 5M is by far the most popular, so that's the one we're going to cover today. Let's get started, and links to everything will be in the video notes. First thing you're going to do is download the 5M server. Go to 5m.net, click on download server, go through artifacts, and you want to get the latest version of the FX server that's available. Once that's downloaded, extract the server to any folder. Next, you're going to need a copy of the default server resources. Don't worry about git, just click on the clone or download button, download the zip file, and extract that to a different location somewhere on your hard drive. Now you need a server configuration. You can copy the default from the bottom of the page and then use the code editor of your choice uh, to save it to your hard drive. I like Visual Studio Code as my editor. You're going to create a new file called server.cfg and you're going to save it next to the directory called resources in the second thing you downloaded. If you take a look through the configuration, you'll find a couple things you can tweak. You'll probably want to uncomment one line near the bottom to keep your server from showing up on the public's uh, 5M server list. And then uh, if you want to, you can just set a default server host name. The last thing you need to do to get the server up and running is generate a license key. You'll need a 5M account for this if you don't already have one. And when you generate the key, uh, make sure the server IP address is 127.0.0.1. That's just your local host. And then uh, just select the home hosted server type. You're going to want to copy the key that's generated and paste that into the server configuration near the bottom. I lied about that being the last thing. There's one more thing. You're going to want to make a batch script right next to your server.cfg file in the same directory. You're going to put the just a path to the run.sh script in, uh, in the first server resource you downloaded in the, uh, in the server itself. This is just going to be something that you can double click to start the server so that you don't have to use the command line every time. Now you're finally ready to start the server, double click your batch script, you'll see a bunch of startups scroll up the screen, your server is now up and running, and now we need to go get the client so that we can connect to it. If you haven't used 5M before, go back to 5M.net, download the client, it'll install pretty quickly. The only thing you need to do when you open up 5M for the first time is go to settings and make sure the checkbox next to dev mode is checked. That's so that you can connect to your local host server. Go ahead and click connect. Give it a second to boot up. Congratulations, you're now connected to your very own 5M local development server. So where do you go from here? In my next video, I'll explain how to get started actually programming your first custom 5M mod. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe. You can catch me a few nights each week streaming on Twitch or in Discord.